Okay, so if you've gotten this far in the video, thanks for watching. If you haven't figured out what we're making yet, we are making a cart for my pond prowler. It's 10 feet long, just under four feet wide. This will make it easier to cart around the yard and to certain boat launches where it's harder to access uh, without a trailer. So I have all my wood cut right now and now we're gonna start the assembly. Now this next step, you wanna make sure you're on a flat surface or flat as possible. You do not wanna do this on grass, gravel, or dirt. So here we have a concrete slab we're gonna do it on. So I need these boards about 20 inches apart. Okay, we got about 20 inches apart. You're gonna grab your screws and your impact, fasten them together. Do the same on the other side. Then you go into a flipper and do the other side also. Try to get it even, but it's not super crucial. I mean, it's only a cart, it's not your house. Now you can see uh, this is a little, a little off, so we just gotta push it in a little bit before we uh, drive the screw in. Now, gonna add another board in here. This is gonna be how we're gonna mount our, our wheel. So I want half and half on here. So pretty much butt it up against the other one. And then that's how we're gonna bolt our wheels on here. So let's do that. Now we'll do the other side. Now to mount the wheels, I'm gonna use two and a half inch bolt, uh, three eighths. Gonna put a washer and a nut on each one, a locking washer. Going to mark the holes and then drill. You're gonna use a three eighths drill bit. Mark your holes. I'm only using two bolts per wheel. It's not a lot of weight, so I'm not too concerned. All right, 3H. Just go ahead and drill the hole. Okay, so we're back, it's the next day. Um, I have the correct bolts this time. I believe I got three inch. Throw the tire on. Washer, nut, and do the same for the other side. All right, so we got that on. Throw another washer on there. Ooh. Having a hard time with the wash. We gotta wiggle this over a little bit, I guess. Get it hand tightened for now. And then let's do the other side. Okay, so now we're doing the other side. Another wheel, already. Another bolt. 
doing the same deal here. Now you're going to take your socket and you're going to tighten down All right, so the next thing we need to do, we need to add the eye bolt. I originally was going to add it right here, but then you run into the problem where it's going, it's too long. It's going to be hitting the boat. You don't want that. So I'm going to add this but just reverse it upside down here and we'll tap it into here so i'll show you how to do that all right so we got this on again that's where the eye bolt's gonna go put the one on the other side okay i'm gonna add this on there Okay, now we gotta drill out the holes for the eye bolt. Gonna use a 3 8 bit. Washer. Over. Same thing, we're going to do a washer, locking nut, a locking washer, and then nut. Thank you. 